Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Today, we're going to be covering news from Cristiano Ronaldo leaving the club to the Glazers potentially selling. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. First and foremost, we're going to do some quick World Cup updates. So, England kicked off their World Cup campaign with a 6-2 victory against Iran. On Monday it was, with Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw and Marcus Rashford all involved. Rashford scored England's fifth and his first World Cup goal off the bench with Harry Maguire and Luke Shaw both getting an assist. Christian Eriksen was in action on Tuesday against Tunisia in Group D. The game ended in a 0-0 draw. Shout out to Hannibal Mejri, who's currently on loan at Birmingham City. He made his World Cup debut coming off the bench late on. Former Manchester United manager Louis van Gaal in a press conference stated that he wanted Sadio Mane to come to the club before his game-changing move to Liverpool in 2016. And I know, I know, I know, but I found this interesting. Maybe some of you guys in the comments will find it too, so let me know in the comment section below. Van Gaal went on to say, I chased him at the time. I'm a fan of Mane. He can break open a match and I would say Senegal will really miss him as they are in this 2022 Qatar World Cup due to injury. Prayers up to Mane each and every time. Indeed. The Netherlands were victors against the Lions of Taranga on Monday, winning 2-0 against an unlucky Senegal side, to be fair, missing their talisman up top. Lissandro, oh yeah, let me remind you CM because you're on a slacking job today, you're really slacking, you know. So. Back on the World Cup watch, Lissandro Martinez came off the bench in Argentina's shock loss to Saudi Arabia. Shout out to that team. Saudi Arabia played absolutely superb to get that result. Probably one of the best shocks in World Cup history. What do you think in the comment section below? Terrell Malassia did not come off the bench in the Netherlands victory against Senegal. It is confirmed that Manchester United and Cristiano Ronaldo have reached a mutual agreement. Ronaldo is set to leave the club with immediate effect. United put out a statement thanking him for his immense contribution across two spells at Old Trafford. Ronaldo also put out a statement on social media stating, and I quote, I love Manchester United and I love the fans. That will never change. However, it feels like the right time for me to seek a new challenge. I wish the team every success for the remainder of the season and for the future. Wasn't the ideal ending by any means, Cappy. I truly wish it could have been different. But nonetheless, we at the United Twins would like to thank CR7 for what he has contributed to the club in both spells. Good luck in the future. Now for us, it's time to move on and continue to make major changes in many areas. Manchester United are paying close attention to 21-year-old midfielder Enzo Fernandes, according to Lucas Pazito of Sports Witness. What I will say is that is all for now. Benfica do not want to let him go so soon due to them being top of the Portuguese league and in the Champions League round of 16. Him being an important player is crucial to that thought process. In other news, coming from Isaac Johnson from the Manchester Evening News, United target, <laughs> United target Marcus Tolam is ready to be sold. The Borussia Mönchengladbach striker has scored 13 goals in 17 matches so far this season. And with his contract expiring in the summer CM, a decision will probably have to be made soon. According to this report, his employers are willing to allow him to leave in January for a fee around £10 million. Would you take the Frenchman to bolster our options in attacking areas? Okay, the big news of tonight came originally from Sky Sports, Mark Kleinman to be exact. We put out a report stating that Manchester United owners are set to explore sale as Glazers seek new investment. I want you all to hold on to the seek new investment part. 
there was a rumor that a statement was going to come out from the club itself which did happen at 9 30 p.m on the tuesday night which is tonight so bear with me when i read it out it is a long one ladies and gents so let me go over to my computer and i'll start from here manchester united plc one of the most successful and historic sports clubs in the world announces today that the company's board of directors is commencing a process to explore strategic alternatives for the club. The process is designed to enhance the club's future growth with the ultimate goal of positioning the club to capitalise on opportunities both on the pitch and commercially. As part of this process, the board will consider all strategic alternatives, including new investment into the club, a sale or other transactions involving the company. This would include an assessment of several initiatives to strengthen the club, including stadium and infrastructure redevelopment and expansion of the club's commercial operations on a global scale, each in the context of enhancing the long-term success of the club's men's, women's and academy team and bringing benefit to fans and other stakeholders. Executive co-chairman and directors Avram Glazer and Joe Glazer said the strength of Manchester United rests on the passion and loyalty of our global community of 1.1 billion fans and followers. As we seek to continue building on the club's history of success, wink wink, <laughs> the board has authorised a thorough evaluation of strategic alternatives. We will evaluate all options to ensure that we best serve our fans and that Manchester United maximises the significant growth of opportunities available to the club today and in the future. Throughout this process, we will remain fully focused on serving the best interest of our fans, shareholders and various stakeholders. The Rain Group is acting as the company's exclusive financial advisor and Latham and Watkins LLP is legal counsel to the company. Rothschild & Co is acting as exclusive financial advisor to the Glazer family shareholders. There can be no assurance that the review being undertaken will result in any transaction involving the company. Manchester United does not intend to make further announcements regarding the review unless and until the board has approved a specific transaction or other course of action requiring a formal announcement. Long story short, you could be excited, but there's also a reason to be skeptical. What I got from the whole quote was that the owners are looking for new investment into the club and they will probably take their time to assess every single option they have available before making that big decision. It could be a full or partial sale new investment into the club like they said or other transactions. I'm also seeing news coming from Carve Solo of Sky saying that United are for sale and the expectation is that it will be sold to US investors if that is the case which is not the greatest news to be honest. I would imagine though that for the next few months there will be many different pieces of news to be released so we'll have to wait but it is a bit of positive news, ladies and gents. Be sure to subscribe to CM22 ENT. We will be covering the news over the course of the next few weeks or so, especially during the World Cup. So look out for those United Twins reports episodes. I'm, I'm enjoying them so far. Be sure to hit a like button on the video if you enjoy. You can also hit a dislike if you didn't and let us know what we did wrong in the comment section below. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at CM22 ENT. And until the next time, we'll see you lot sooner, bit.